Hey guys. Come on in. I have um, a few prophetic words. Praise God. God bless you. I pray that you are having an amazing day already, honey. So God be all the glory. Father, we praise you. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was just inviting just some people that were on the list there. Um, so yesterday I had an eventful day of hearing conversations. <laughs> and so I got some of these prophetic words out of the conversations that I was hearing. God bless you guys. Um, comment on the chat. Let me know who's with me. And um, so um, there's there's a there's a man. This is for a man. This one is for a man. Um, I want to tell you, you have power. Okay this this prophetic word is is you have power and this is for a man that is mighty but just is in a real faithless position downtrodden state um just you're being double-minded at the moment and um god is calling you higher hallelujah um you were downtrodden in this conversation that I was hearing. You were downtrodden and your head was down. Pick up your head. Man of God, pick up your head. I pick up your head today in the name of Jesus Christ if this word is for you. And there was a woman that I overheard telling you, you have power. You have power. But you have power. Hallelujah. And so, <clears throat> I reiterate that to you, those words to you today. You have power. Hallelujah. Um, I don't know what you're going through, amen, I don't know what your situation is, but we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith, amen, and your identity doesn't change, who you are doesn't change because of how you feel, where you are, what you're going through, what you don't have, amen, um, you are still you, you are still who God created you to be, you are still a king, even if you don't feel like it, amen, even if it doesn't look like it, amen, according to your own perspective hallelujah whatever you think that that has to look like amen i'm coming to tell you um today please release that mindset i break that mindset off of you now in jesus mighty name and i say to you you have power you are not powerless you have power amen hallelujah um the other prophetic word is stronghold okay i heard i overheard a conversation in the realm of the spirit um concerning stronghold okay this right here is an answer for somebody praise yah and um it could be for man or woman in the conversation that i overheard it was for a man okay but it can be for man or woman i believe that the spirit of the lord has drawn you to this life and, and this is something that you you've been seeking God out on on well, well, what's the hold up you know with with you and your situation well why can't you just do this why can't you just move forth why can't you just serve God and be obedient why can't listen the answer is stronghold there's a stronghold over you hallelujah and today I smite every stronghold off in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And I decree and declare that you are free, hallelujah. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, has set you free, hallelujah. 
in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Um, there's another prophetic word that I had for a vision this morning that I seen while I was in the presence of the Lord. This is for a man of God. Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. Mm. the lord says cheer up man of god the lord says cheer up okay hallelujah god bless you beautiful daughter um the lord says cheer up this is the vision that i had okay it was like in the setting of a restaurant okay and you were um you were a server okay and um somebody had spilled something god bless you daughter somebody had spilled something on the floor it was like a milkshake or something and it made a huge mess on the ground all right and you were swift you were swift to play your position you came to clean up the job amen but your issue was that you were not of good cheer you were upset you were frustrated and you were just griping you were complaining you were just going off as you mopped up and cleaned up the mess man of god the lord says to you cheer up we are commanded to serve the lord with lord with joy amen hallelujah and the word of god tells us to be a cheerful giver hallelujah and that doesn't only mean finances honey that means in your servitude your service unto the lord hallelujah and your giving hallelujah you're giving unto the lord and whatever it is that you're giving unto the lord do it with cheer with a cheerful heart hallelujah because what what good is it how are you building treasure in heaven when you're serving with a bitter heart when you're complaining amen hallelujah and, and you're griping and, and you're just not happy and by the way we have to remember and listen when i preach to you these are things that I remind myself of. I'm not better than nobody here. Amen. I'm just a servant, a messenger of the most high. I come to give you the message, honey. Okay. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being obedient. You know, uh, uh, if you didn't, if you didn't have the information, now you have any information, take it back to the Lord. Amen. If you didn't have the answer, he's giving you the answer through me. Take it back to the Lord for confirmation. Amen. If you probably won't even need confirmation, this is going to hit your spirit in Jesus name hallelujah you're gonna know that you know and so what good is it to serve the lord and not be of good cheer we are representatives of christ jesus when people see us they're supposed to see the light of the world they're supposed to see the salt of the earth salt preserves honey salt it kills decay all right it diminishes decay hallelujah there's nothing, the only kind of salty we got to be is the fact that we are the salt and not our attitudes be salty. You was very salty, man of God. And I'm not getting on you. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm passionate about what God is showing me. Amen. And I want, I want you to understand that the Lord is not pleased with your attitude. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and. Like I said, I praised you before I, I got to the saltiness. <laughs> I said you were swift to play your position. You got to the job and you did it well and you did it quickly. But your downfall was that you were bitter. You were complaining. Hallelujah. And we can't serve God like that. If you're going to serve God like that, have a seat. Because people are watching. You're going to kill the sheep. All right? You're going to kill the sheep. Amen. You're going to kill anybody that it needs inspiration, needs hope. All right. Anybody that is even thinking about, you know, coming to the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to assassinate them. You just might as well not mention Jesus' name at all while you're in this funk. To God be the glory. Have a seat. Get before the Lord. Repent. Amen. Come back. Come back to the place of worship, of prayer praise hallelujah and a place of faith hey, i don't know what's going on in your life and maybe some things haven't taken place that you've been waiting on because that's what i feel in my spirit you're waiting on something you're waiting on something or some things and you haven't seen it and so you've become bitter amen you've become angry and so now you're serving like that and you're killing you can, you're gonna kill those around you with that kind of attitude amen and the lord is not pleased the lord is calling you to repentance
Amen. To God be the glory. The blind lead the blind into a ditch, man of God. Don't do it. I remove the scales off of you now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I lose peace to you. And I pray over your heart sincerely in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That you may have eyes to see. That you will have a new thirst and a new desire. Hunger for righteousness. That you may be filled. But man of God has got to come with humility. For he exalts the humble. You've got to come back to the Father. Humble yourself and say, Lord, I know you're talking to me. And I'm so sorry. And forgive me for anyone I may have caused to fall, to stumble. Amen. To to. To go left, amen, because of my representation of you that was not what it was supposed to be. Hallelujah. And I just pray healing in your heart. And I just decree that as you humble yourself, the Lord is going to show up mightily in your life. I just pray a new smile in your heart, amen, that you have joy, amen, in the name of Jesus. There's no other way to serve him but with joy, amen. And I just praise you lord i thank you father god there was i think there was one other thing but i can't remember right now unless the holy spirit brings it to me but those of you that have, that came on after i was hearing conversations in the spirit yesterday all day and so those prophetic words were from the conversations one was you have powers for man of god you have power but listen woman of god if you have faith enough to believe it take it for yourself if you've been feeling downtrodden if your head's been down i pick it up in jesus name and i say you have power hallelujah and the other word was um stronghold somebody's been been trying to figure out and understand why they just can't go forth why they can't serve the lord why they can't be obedient you know why they keep stumbling and and the answer is stronghold hallelujah stronghold and i prayed i prayed over that in jesus name and so you could go back and catch the replay um but uh yeah that's it does anybody have a prayer request is there anything that i can speak into your life um i would be more than happy to do that god bless you guys god bless you guys hallelujah deja <clears throat> Deidre, I saw that seed you sowed, and I just wanted to let you know I decreed a hundredfold over your seed in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you for the, the, the love offering that you sent in my ministry in Jesus' mighty name. It, maybe you didn't hear from me, but the seed was, it was covered. It was prayed over in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, and God bless you. Amen. You shall reap a harvest. Hallelujah. Yes, God, share this, tag somebody um, that someone else may be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. We praise you, Father God. To God be all the glory. We love you. So I'll just wait one more second. Anybody have a, pray a prayer? Deidre, she says, pray for me. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I lift up your daughter, Deja. Romo, ku, sikira, ma, sikira, ma, soko, re, de, kesi. And I, Deja, I lose confidence to you because I'm seeing this. I know that I have to lose confidence to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what it is, rama, soko, re, de, kesi, but you need confidence in this moment. Rama, ko, sikira, ba, ba, siki. There's something that you're lacking confidence in. I don't know if you want to confirm this. If, if you don't, it's fine. But that's what I'm feeling led to pray for, for confidence. Hallelujah. For I know, hallelujah, that when things are not what we've heard God uh, said they would be, you know, in the moment, you know, it can try us. Hallelujah. It is, it is, it is, it is a trying time, you know, when God's word is not matching up with what our surroundings and what it looks like. Amen. And so I lose confidence to you in Jesus' mighty name, woman of God. And I just lose healing to your heart. Because I see a fracture in your heart. Receive this.
I want to say like I see three fractures. Rubukusi kurama sikira basoko karababa sikira masoko rebekesi kusi kusi. I feel like I see three, three, three fractures in your heart. Robo didra rama kusi kira basiki rebekesi kira ma. Holy Spirit, touch your heart right now. Not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, Lord, by your loving spirit. E rama se ke rebekisi kurama kusi. I lose power to you, Deidre. Kurababasi, Rama kasi kisi kisi kusi, Raba kusi. And I blow a wind of refreshing to you. Kuramasiki, Raba basiki, Ramasiki, E Ramasiki. And the Lord says to you, Deidre, I am with you. Karamasoko, with an everlasting love. Rubukusi, keep looking up to me, says the Lord. Rama kusi kira basiki. I am with you and I go before you. Kuramasiki. And the Lord says, believe, just believe. Kuramasiki, Ramasiki. You shall see my hand in your life. Rama kusi kira babasiki, says the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God. I praise you, Lord. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. Hold on a little longer, says the Lord to somebody. Hold on a little longer, says the Lord to somebody. I'm doing a new thing, says the Lord. So do you perceive it not? It is not going to come in the way that you think, the way that you see. See fit. My ways are not your ways, says the Lord. The Lord says, take me out the box. The Lord says, I am your God. You are not my God. Let me do this, says the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your ways are not pleasing unto the Lord. The Lord is saying to somebody, hallelujah. I see double-mindedness. The word of God says that a double-minded man, man is unstable in all his ways. He's like the ways of the sea being tossed to and fro. That does not please the Lord. Hallelujah. So come out. Daughter, I see you. I break all double-mindedness in the name of Jesus. Come up higher. I pull you up from the low place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Father, I praise you. Bless your people, Father God. Hallelujah. Bless your people, Father God. Rama sekerebesiki, Rama kusi. The Lord says to somebody, I'm going to use you in a mighty way. Hallelujah. And you're doubting it. Kerama sokorebekesi, karababasi. But watch and see the glory of God, says the Lord. Rama kusi, kirabasoko. Snap out of that mindset in the name of Jesus. Kirama sokorebekesi, kirababasoko. I shift your perspective today in the name of Jesus Christ. Rama kusi, kiramama sekerebesiki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I praise you. Come on, praise him while you're on this line. God bless you, kitty. Praise him while you're on this line. Keramase kerebesi rimikusi kirabasi rabakusi kiramakusi kirabakisi. Kitty, I see that you're going to do something with children. Ramakusi. I don't know if you know this or this is confirmation to you. Karababase keremesi kiramasoko. Rebekesi kiramasoko rebekusi. Hallelujah. I don't know. I'm hearing children's ministry, kitty. Karama soko rebekesi. Hallelujah. Karabasi kira mama se kerebesi ki. Rubukusi. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're worthy to be praised. E rama soko rebekesi kira mama soko. Kitty, that if kitty's on, let me know, kitty. Karababa soko rebekesi. If that's something that you've heard before or you've seen. And the Lord has revealed it to you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Rama Kusi Kira Babasi Rama Soko. 
Erama Sokore Bekesi. Daughter, daughter Neoki, is, is you the one who the Lord is saying, hold out a little longer. Hallelujah. Trouble don't last always, daughter. Hallelujah. Yes. No, it don't. Erama Sokore Bekesi. Kurama Sikira Baba Siki. Rubukusi. The Lord says, I am preparing you. Neoki. Kurama Sikira Masoko. Erama Sokore Besiki Rama Masiki Rama Siki. For such a time as this. Rabaku Sikira Mama Siki Rababa Siki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Gerama Siki Rama Sokore Besiki. Hallelujah. Mitzi, the Lord says to you, keep your heart pure before him. Hallelujah. And I see people around you. Hallelujah. And the Lord is saying um, not to allow the people around you to, to, to allow your heart to be tainted. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, guard your heart, Mitzi. Hallelujah. Guard your heart. You, you, people don't understand you. Hallelujah. And so I just see people around you. He says, keep your heart pure before him and, and, and let what they say to you or how they treat you. Let it just roll off like your shoulders, like, you know, like water on oil, honey. All right. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Rama Sokore Bekesi. Yes, we praise you, Lord. Well, I didn't get off of all this. <laughs> But we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father God. Ramakusi. Praise God. Neoki says confirmation. Lenla, you're gonna hear from me soon through the email, Mama. I'm my apologies. I just I'm in a transition and you know, I'm doing a lot of things and um um but I'm gonna get the emails out. I'm gonna get the emails out. And when I do, I'm going to message you so you know and you're not wondering. Amen. I just have to do things in order and I, I don't do things halfway. Um I move by a spirit of excellence and so when I um deliver I like to deliver, you know, um in an excellent way. All right. You're not forgotten. Erama Mitzi says confirmation to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Korama Kusi. Jesus said, but the the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and I come to give life and life abundantly. Remember that, guys. There are many thieves because I see them. I see so many thieves right now. Rama kusi kira baba siki. Raba kura mama se kere bebe sikira mama soko. Ribi kusi kira ma sikira mama soko. Rebe kesi kira ma soko. The Lord says there are, there are many thieves. There are so many thieves, but the Lord says, I will smite them all. Says the living God, Rama Kusi Kira Baba Siki. I am the good shepherd. Rama Kusi Kira Baba Siki. Rimimi Siki. Hallelujah, Jesus. Smite the thieves, Father God. Smite the wolves, Father God. Rama Kusi, they come for your sheep. Rebe Kira Mama Soko, Father, you leave. Rabba Kisi. 99 for one sheep. God, Remeke, we believe you. We trust in you. Hey, you are a light in our salvation. Whom shall we fear? You are the Rama Siki, strength of our life. Of whom shall shall we be afraid father god even when the wicked rise up against us and devour our flesh our enemies and our foes they shall stumble and fall hallelujah we prophesy their fall today in the name of jesus every thief fall every wolf fall in jesus name i prophesy that the sheep's clothing is falling off the wolves in this hour that you may have eyes to see the wolves in your circle because they've only come to steal kill and destroy but you like you're like a tree of life and the thief doesn't come to steal anything that's not valuable hallelujah he comes to steal things of value hallelujah so you have to know that you have value hallelujah you have value god made you amazing he made you with life hallelujah you you have him inside you hallelujah and so the world will hate you they will envy you hallelujah they will they will try to hurt you and, and steal from you and kill you but know that he has overcome this world hallelujah hallelujah you shall stand you shall live and not die. Hallelujah. You are the head and not the tail. You shall be the lender and not the borrower. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, we praise you, Lord. I open your eyes to see. 
the thief in your life. Because the God that I serve, the my father, my father, he lets me know who are the thieves in my life, who are the Judas in my life. And then you take it from there and you say, okay, Lord, what do you want me to do? Do I cut these people off and depart? Or is there an assignment that I have with my Judas? Okay, because Judas brings elevation. And so when God reveals your Judas, with me how he does with me is that I have to endure and so no I don't just cut my Judas off I let my Judas eat with me baby I let my Judas walk with me I let my Judas you know I entrust in Judas you know Jesus let Judas hold his, the money bag honey alright uh, and so and it's only for a season it's only for a time and so you gotta be patient in the Lord and seek the Lord out for instruction with your Judas, amen? Because there's elevation that is going to come from the assassination of your Judas, amen? Hallelujah. And you will be so happy that you did, honey. Come on, Neoki, come on. Come on, Sister Arts, testify that you endured and you went through and you followed the instruction. And the Lord, the good Lord, <laughs> he showed himself, honey. He's, he's still working on that as well, hallelujah. To God be the glory. So no, we don't just run. We we don't we are not children of God who run from problems, run from people. I don't run from nobody. I'm not scared of nobody. I just pray a supernatural boldness come upon everybody on the sound of my voice. Okay, you will feel no fear no one. You fear the one that can kill the body and the soul, honey. That's the only person you got to fear. I rebuke the spirit of intimidation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I say to you, stand. Be strong and of good courage. Hallelujah. Jesus allowed Judas to kiss him right before the assassination. Hallelujah. But don't get it twisted. He, he let Judas know. He knew what was up. Judas betrays thou with the kiss. <laughs> but listen, you can't do that with your Judas unless the Lord leads you to do that, okay? Because you got to learn how to be an assassin, right? You got to learn how to work behind the scenes. <laughs> This, I know how to do. I do it well, okay? I promise. I know what I'm telling you. And so, you know, people who are Judases, they're just, they're, they're deceived, okay? There's a spirit that's running them, that's driving them, and, and most of the time, you know, it's ordained. Amen? So that should give you some type of joy right there. If you know that God ordained it, you're good. Your father got you in the palm of his hand. He ain't going to let you go, honey. He ain't going to let nothing happen to you. Look at Job. The Lord boasts on his faithful children. Okay? Yeah, Judas be thinking you lost, honey, but you in the sauce, honey. You all up in the sauce, honey. You like stirring the sauce, honey. <laughs> you the cook. You the cook. You know exactly what Judas is cooking, and you ain't the rock, honey. <laughs> honey, listen, you know what I love? I love for people to think that I'm stupid. I love, 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 love that. I know it sounds dumb. I know it sounds it sounds weird. But listen, God said he uses the foolish things to confound the wise. And he stay using me like that. I just, I just act like I don't know nothing. But I know. I know. I know a whole lot. I know everything that's going on. At least almost everything. Amen? And so... You just got to let Judas think that you don't know nothing, okay? Unless the Lord has you say something. Because there are times like that. Like Jesus, when he said, betrays thou with the kiss, there are times like that where God will have you stand up to the giant, like David, and be like, who are you, you uncircumcised Philistine? <laughs> okay? I come to take your head off, all right? So, yes, we have, you know, it's just you got to be led by the Spirit. You got to be led by the Spirit. That's usually my stance in everything. I'm ready to just take somebody's head off and the Lord be like, hold it, hold the sword. And I'm like, I all right, I'll put it back in my sheath. <laughs> yes, Lord. Father, I praise you. You're worthy to be praised. And so the Word of God tells us to be sober and be vigilant. For the devil... He, he prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. 
he's the true thief all right he's the thief that uses people in our lives and so you have to be sober and you have to be vigilant all right sober how do you stay sober listen what you put in what you put in put in to you pour into you drink eat the word of god all right jesus said my meat is to do the will of my father and he was the word amen and so he was just giving that word out just serving that word all day giving it giving it giving it whether they wanted it or not here you go how you doing honey breakfast lunch and dinner <laughs> honey <laughs> jesus was the word in this body okay and he was serving that breakfast lunch and dinner and something jerk okay whether you liked it or not <laughs> you was gonna get it all right and so that was the will of the father and the will of the father has not changed honey so god bless you sharon miss sharon hallelujah um and so let your meat be to do the will of your father let your meat be to eat the word of god consistently every day this is a lifestyle amen this is a mindset to put on the mind of christ hallelujah you know the spirit is different from the natural you you, you gotta you got to fill yourself with the things of the Spirit. Amen. The Word of God tells us in the book of Corinthians that the carnal mind that goes against is that enmity with the, the Spirit. Hallelujah. They, they just clash. And so fasting and prayer kills a lot of that stuff. You want to come up higher, fast and pray. Kill that flesh. All right. Don't let your belly be your God. I mean, I guess I'm just flowing today. Don't let your belly be your God. Hallelujah. Starve that belly all right starve your flesh and eat the living and active word of god hallelujah and worship the lord and praise hallelujah in the name of jesus christ Rabba Sokwan, be filled and every stronghold in your life will just break off every demon this thing you got to go it got to come out honey because when the glory comes and nothing else can stay <laughs> hallelujah jesus and so sober be sober be sober don't don't fill yourself with the things of the world with the mindsets of men hallelujah jesus said that the front of the world is an enemy of his hallelujah and 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 and, and god never loses a fight you can you know what i'm saying you don't want to be friends with the world honey you do not want to come against the living god all right yeah no you want to be god's friend all right jesus said jesus said that those that obey him keep his commandments are his friends <laughs> if you want to be Jesus' friend you have to keep his commandments that means love God first right with all your heart mind soul and love others as you love yourself but that also means specifically in your life in your assignment in your world all right what is Jesus telling you to do you know, is Jesus telling you to work this job or leave this job? Is Jesus telling you to marry this person, not marry this person? Is Jesus telling you to go feed the homeless? <clears throat> is Jesus telling you to go take care of a widow? Is Jesus telling you to, you know, start a children's ministry? Is What is Jesus telling you? Because we can't only live by the word. And this is how religious people in the church, they kill the sheep. Okay. They want to kill you with the word. All right. But they don't got the spirit. You need both. You need both. And we see this clearly. Paul was an, uh, was an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he had assignments. And he went forth and he obeyed, right? And he completed his assignments. And it says that the spirit of the Lord bid him not to go to Asia. And so the spirit of the Lord is going to bid you to do some things. And going to bid you not to do some things. Amen. So we need the spirit. How can I know if I'm going to go to Asia if I just open the Bible? I need I need to know specifically the assignment, the mental of my life, the, the things I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go. I know that by the Spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's why they want to assassinate me. That that, that religious spirit uh, with the with the divorce. Listen, I don't care what you think. The living God that I know and knows me and made me before the foundation of the world. Listen. He called me out of the marriage. Guess what? He never even was in it. 
I came before man to get married. I didn't come before the Lord. My God is I am Father. Oh, I just thank God that he forgave me for that. Because he revealed to me I was a whore. Yes, I said it. And I'm not ashamed. Because I left God when I got married. Left him. Cheated on him. People don't want to, religious people do not want to hear this. You think that your God is going to keep you miserable in a marriage for the rest of your life and he didn't even take part in it. Listen, honey, come up higher. In Jesus' name, you are forgiven. You are forgiven. Come up higher. It is okay and it is well. He's a good father. Yo, if anybody been raised by a good father, I bless God that I had a father. I didn't live with him. I didn't grow up with him. But he was in, He made it a point to be in my life and to sow the word of God in my life when I was young. And and, and, and he, he, he treated me like a queen. Amen. And to, like to, just to stop and think right now that my dad... And I'm just going back to being a little girl. If you had a dad and your dad was good to you, go back to that moment right now. And if you didn't have a dad, amen, woman of God, I want you to imagine. Look at my shirt. Imagine. Let's imagine this right now. I want you to imagine, hallelujah, that your father was there and that your father was a good man. Hallelujah. And I want you to imagine that right now your father takes you and he sits you on his lap. Hallelujah. He caresses your face and he tells you how much he loves you and how beautiful you are. Oh, God, somebody's going to cry. And now imagine that, that your father would wish for you to be unhappy for the rest of your life. Would wish for you to be manipulated. Would wish for you to be abused by another man. Would wish these things for you forever. Would wish that you would be in a cell, captive, forever. The devil is a liar. No way. No way. Not at all. Not ever. And, and, and we're talking about a man. Now imagine our God. Who is greater than man. He blew breath, ruach, into man. He created your father. He created that husband. Hallelujah. He is higher Hallelujah. His word is higher. His word is greater than what everybody is telling you in your life and what you should and shouldn't do. The only thing that matters at the end of the day is the word of God, your father, and he's a good father. And if a man who is made by the living God, who loves you, you came from his body you were a seed in his body before he put you in your mother's body hallelujah would love you and cherish you and treat you like a queen and will want the best for you how do you not think that the living god who created him blew breath into him put his thoughts in his mind wants something less than that for you wants worse than that for you impossible I shift your perspective today. Come out. Come out from among them. Come out from among those wolves, those religious spirits, those Jezebelic, hallelujah, spirits, hallelujah. Jesus said, I came to give life and life abundantly. If you feel like you're in a marriage where you can't breathe, you ain't got life, and you don't see no fruit, then there's no life. Amen? There's something that's dead. It's a dead thing. And it needs resurrection. And if God does not want to resurrect that thing, and he's the life, then that thing is gone. And you need to come out of it. Hallelujah. Okay? Peter and the apostles, they preached the word of God in the streets. And read it in the book of Acts. They preached the word of God. No matter what, they were thrown into the jails. They were taken by the councilmen and, and, and time and time again. And they threatened them. They said, don't preach in this name. Don't preach in his name. And it did not matter. They had the mind of Christ. They were one accord. That means one mind. Okay? And they all said this. It is greater to obey God rather than man. So when they came out the jail, 
they went right back to the corner of the temple and they was preaching in the name of Jesus Christ. And when they were questioned again, they said it is better to obey God rather than man. That's the mindset you need. And that's the mindset that many do not have. And that's why you're in the situation that you're in. Because you don't have the mindset, for God I live, for God I die. What God says goes, and I don't care what anybody else has to say. This is some of your problem. This is why you're double-minded. Because the thief can easily shoot arrows at your mind with people using, using words, using their opinions, using their beliefs, using their visions for your life. And you crumble because you receive this garbage. But in Jesus' name, I pluck out all poison out your ears now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Stand. Be strong and of good courage. In the book of Deuteronomy, the Lord is saying to his prophet, be not afraid of their faces. He trained me good in the cave. He told me, be not afraid of their faces. I'm not afraid of nobody's face. I went to a church. He put me in a church to preach one time. And I can't, when I stood up at the pulpit, I looked around and I said, oh, Lord, Lord, Jesus, help. I looked around at all their faces and they, their faces was not happy. I was standing up there. And I heard the Lord. He reminded me. How he trained me in the cave and he said, be not afraid of their faces. <laughs> be not afraid of their faces. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I was not afraid of their faces. And I'll never be afraid of their faces again. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because I'm here to serve the Lord. My life is a living sacrifice unto the Lord. Whether anybody likes that or not. So I'm going to do what my father tells me to do, no matter how crazy, how radical, and how dumb or foolish it may seem to somebody else. I'm building treasure in heaven, baby. I got crowns that I'm coming for. And my reward is with the Lord, not with man. So I can agree to disagree if you don't get my walk. And I wish you the best. And I pray that y'all have this mindset in Jesus' mighty name. It's time to come out from among them. There are mighty moves of God that are being birthed. And you want to take part. You want to take part. Even if you're not the protagonist in the movement. Amen? Like if you was in a movie. The, the main actor, right? Even if you're not the main character in any move of God. But remember, we're one body, many members, and the Word of God says that each member needs each other. No matter how small, no matter how big, we need each other. So if, you, if you're if being called to clean, hallelujah, or, or just, you know, cook, hallelujah, whatever it is, don't look at it like it's a small thing. See, I shift your mind today. You have to look at it that you're not doing it unto man, you're doing it unto the Lord. You're doing it unto the Lord. So it's a big thing because there's a reward for you. Give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaken together, running over. He's going to bring men to give into your bosom. Hallelujah. What you do, what you give is given in return so much more. Your reward is with the Lord. What you do, you do it unto the Lord. So if the Lord tells you, sow this seed. You know, you know, how, let me tell you something. You know how many people are supposed to sow into my life that don't? because they don't like me they will come into my life for the prayer for the anointing okay but they won't sow all right because they're being hindered by the devil who's a liar because they have no idea that what they give is going to be given unto them don't you know that that when the lord brings a prophet into your life he has solutions for you he has a shift for you. He has promotion for you. But you got to do your part. And you got to do unto the prophet of God what the Lord is calling you to do. Hallelujah. But we looking at the person. I tell you, when you see people, see God. Hallelujah. But people are seeing people. They seeing people. They seeing what people say. They seeing how people act. They seeing how people walk, how people dress, and who they with and who they not with and where they going and where they living and their situation and circumstance. Listen, I shifted and I, have my, I got myself in the car, whatever. And I was just judged recently because I got myself in the car. And it looks like, it looks like God wouldn't do that. It looks like, nah, she, 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 she ain't prospering. 
oh, oh, I, oh, I, I open your mind today. I shift your perspective. The devil is a liar. I'm not prosperous because of my circumstance, my situation, what things look like. Hallelujah. If the Lord told me to move, my obedience was to move. Hallelujah, Jesus. And because I got my stuff in my car, hallelujah, doesn't mean that I'm not prospering. It doesn't mean that God is not with me. It doesn't mean that my life is falling apart. You need to just stay a little longer so that you can see the glory because you spoke ahead of your time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because what I know is that the word of the Lord will not return void. He told me something and it's going to come to pass. Hallelujah. It's just my job to play my part. Just play your part. And remember that what you do, you do it unto the Lord. Even if it brings suffering. Even if it brings persecution. Temptation. Trying. You're doing it unto the Lord. People's mindset is so broken. They think that if you're going, if you're suffering and you're being tried and you lose everything, that the Lord is not with you, that you're in sin. The devil is a liar because the Lord boasted on Job. The word of God says that Job was noble, a noble man. And it was the Lord that offered Job to Satan. Hallelujah. Have you considered my servant Job? Hallelujah. I'm a Job. I'm a Job. It is what it is. I take I, t I take I take pride in that that the Lord would consider me to be a noble woman. That he that he could trust me. That that he he knows I love him. That he knows that I'll do anything for him. I take pride in that. That's my only mission in this dirty little earth. <laughs> to let God know that I am a willing vessel. That he could use me to do anything and I will do it. Say anything and I will do it. Cut anybody off and I'll do it. Add anybody on and I'll do it. Hallelujah. Have a million babies and I'll do it. Hallelujah. Whatever he wants me to do, I'll do it. That's my mission. That's supposed to be all our mission. Because Jesus said, follow me. We lose our lives when we follow Jesus. And we praise God. Because he said that he who loses his life will save it. My life is saved. So please, stop putting your mouth on me. I'm saved. I'm good. You got to stop looking at what you see in my life. Hallelujah. But not yet, because you about to see glory. <laughs> you got to watch a little longer. But listen, it's all for the glory of God. This is a move of God. Hallelujah. And I just praise him. I praise him. You know, we have to be so careful. Get delivered. Get delivered from gossip. All right? That's why I come to shift your perspective so that you don't put your mouth on anointed folks. You know, you, you touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm is real. I'm living this. Okay? And God is merciful. And you know, people think that time will never come. They think that they could slay you and that that time will never come. I cry for the people that slay me. I cry for them. I ask the Lord for mercy. I love my enemies. I do not wish that the Lord would touch my enemies. That is not a joke. But I shift your perspective because we got to be delivered from evil mindsets, from gossip. We always talk about fornication and homosexuality. Listen, the gossiper doesn't make it into the into the kingdom of heaven either. You wondering why you can't be used? You wondering why you haven't been elevated? You want listen, shut your mouth. Stop gossiping. Stop thinking corrupt and stop talking corrupt. Because just because you're talking about people behind their back don't mean God didn't hear it. You have to be careful. Repent. I have had to do this. Are you kidding me? Listen, I got to cast down imaginations every day, all the time. You know what I'm saying? It gets better, though. It gets better. It gets better. All right? As, as, as you let God wash you, it gets better. You're not always battling these thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Because you get strong. Because you have power. Hallelujah. 
But listen, anytime a little corrupt thought comes in your head about somebody, let, cast that thing down. Cast it down in Jesus. I, I, I bring this thought under the subjection and obedience of Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, I cast you down. Devil, you a liar. Because it's not your business. It's not your business. What that person is going through, what they look like, what they talking about. It's not your business unless the living God assigns you to say something, to do something. Hallelujah. And he's going to have, have you do something that's going to add unto them, not, not kill them. Hallelujah. Because even when the word of rebuke goes forth, it adds life unto a person. It kills that very thing, sin, but it adds life unto them. Listen, I'm in a bad neighborhood, right? And there's so many homeless people. I don't know how much money I've given so far, but you know, I, I can't, I can't. And so just the other day, you know, I, I said, Lord, you got, you, got to, you got to have my money come up fast. I said, Lord, I need a lot of money to be here, yo. I need a lot of money. And this is what the Lord said. The Lord rebuked me. And he said, you don't need money. He said, you need the word. But now, when I give unto the homeless, I give them something, but I give it to make room for my word. Amen. Now, if I don't have money, I just give them the word. To God be the glory. Um, I always give them the word. Peter says, silver and gold, I have none, but I give unto you what I have, right? To God be the glory. What I have is way more powerful than money. It's just that my compassion is on a thousand. That's all, you know? And so... um. He said, you don't need money. You need the word. He said, money does not change a person's life. My word does. So let that bless you. That's a whole meal right there. God's word is life changing. I have shifted people's lives in the street just from speaking into their life, calling forth their destiny helpers, loosing the angels of the Lord to go forth. Hallelujah. And create a shift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah money it's just gonna get them a meal or whatever it is that they use it for and, and it's and it's finished amen um my cash app is dollar sign prophet crystal angel i think yeah hallelujah you should see my picture can somebody put that up cash app prophet crystal angel um, and so fill yourself up with the word of God every day in the beginning of the day first thing you do when you open your eyes fill yourself up with, with the Lord amen that you can then be used when you go about your day because you're full and now you can pour out alright like a fountain like a well others may drink from you but I didn't. I, I guess we went off. Father, you led by your spirit. We praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I'm just going to read the comments. To God be the, to God be the glory, Lin Lin. I received that. Hallelujah. What you give to me for the homeless will be for the homeless. Hallelujah. There's a lot of homeless around here. Um, I'm just trying to go back. I think it was you, Lynn, Lynn, that wrote a comment, a long comment, something about your cousin. Um, oh. oh, okay, I'm reading it now. My best friend's cousin has congestive heart failure and also has pneumonia, and they're sending her home for ICU, and they gave her up to a couple weeks of living. Can you please pray for her? Her name is Key. Oh, I love that name. That is so beautiful. Oh, like a pea in the pod. Father God, in Jesus' name, I lift a pea. I remit her sins. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that your kingdom come and your will be done in her life and her body as it is in heaven, Father God. And Father, if, this, if it's not her time, Lord, right now, I loose the word of life to go forth. I loose the word of freedom to go forth in her life now in Jesus' name. And I decree the pneumonia is canceled. And I decree that her heart 
is healed. Rubuku sikira masoko rebe kira masikira baso. I bind the powers of Leviathan. Rubuku rama sikiri bisiki, and I command you, Leviathan, loose her heart, let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Rama se kerebe sikira mama soko loose p let her go. Rebeke rumuku sikira masoko rebeke se decree she shall live and not die. Father God, if it is not her time in Jesus name I lose a miracle in her life now that you would be glorified my Lord only you Father God Father only you hallelujah Jesus and she will look up and know that it was you hallelujah in Jesus mighty name hallelujah amen Amen. Thank you, Lynn. Hallelujah. For God be the glory. We praise you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Rama Sokorebe Kesi. All right, guys. I love you. I got to go work. <laughs> I'm working right now, but I got to go work, work. All right. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm expecting something amazing after I get off this live. Because I just need to testify for his glory like I always do. There's nothing too little that I will never testify for for his glory because he's worthy of it. Every time that the Lord has me pour out and I'm faithful when I get on, whatever it is, afterwards, the Lord blesses me. He always blesses me. Let me tell you, he takes care of his children. He's so beautiful. I love him so much. I love the Lord so much. He's so wonderful. All right, I love y'all. To God be the glory. It's not working. What's not working? The cash app? All right, let me see. I'm going to... um. Give me one second. This is going to pause. I think I could come back to it. If not, I love you. Have a, a blessed day, and I'll write it in the comments. Amen. Prophet Crystal Angel. So it should go forth, because I've had seeds sown there before. That's where I have them go to now. All right. I love you. God bless you. Bye.